Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video we're going to be talking about another new piece of DDD support that this time is actually going to be released in a core set. This card is DDD Gust High King Executive Alexander, the new DDD Synchro, and it is coming out in the Code of the Duelist set that will be coming out to us around the August time frame of this year. So it is confirmed for release in a core set, so that's actually pretty decent. However, I think I was kind of setting myself up to get let down by this card as well as uh, Caesar, but anyway, this is a level 10 Wind Fiend Synchro Effect type monster with 3000 attack and 2500 defense, and its requirements are 1 tuner plus 1 or more non-tuner, and its effects are, while there are 3 or more DDD monster on the field, this card gains 3000 attack, so it includes itself, so this plus any 2 other DDD monsters makes this card immediately a 6k beater, so that's, that's very respectable in its own right. And then its other effect is the exact same first effect as High Executive Genghis. If another DD monster is, is normal or special summoned to your side of the field while you control this face of card except during the damage step, you can target one DD monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use this effect of DDD Gust High King Executive Alexander once per turn. Now, like I said earlier, I think I was kind of setting myself up with Executive Genghis to be let down by these cards, especially since these cards are coming out in the core set, this and Caesar, which I'll be doing a completely separate video on, uh, just because I don't want it like lingering and intermittently mingling with each other in terms of uh, in terms of the thought points. But Exal Alexander, unfortunately, doesn't have the same benefit as Executive Genghis has, being such a high level. Genghis is level eight. You can combo with that. You can use Genghis as a combo piece to extend your plays and then use Genghis itself to be melded into your ending boards. That's something that both fusion Genghises have. And that's something that regular Alexander has as well, being a level 7 synchro. This Alexander, being a level 10 synchro, while it is a huge, beefy motherfucker when it pumps itself up to 6k, it unfortunately doesn't do anything else. Sure, it allows you to have another normal or special summon triggered effect to reborn a DD monster, so that's really good. But the problem is, is that unlike Executive Genghis, this card is not a stepping stone in a combo piece. This is very much a finishing piece. You aren't using this to build your board. You are ending with this and then using it to build other parts of your board. And that means you just allocated resources into this card for it literally to sit there and do nothing. So I could see this card possibly being played as a one of just because of how monumentally big it gets in terms of attack points. 6,000 is so large and so easy to actually trigger. However, the problem I have with the card is that it literally does nothing else. So in the current nature of the DDD deck, at least until the link summoning thing comes in and changes everything, the current nature of the deck is to literally just put everything on board and establish a good first turn field. Now whether that strategy changes with link summoning into where one where this card is very valuable, then that just have to be seen. I think there's definitely some room for that to happen, especially considering link summoning and link monsters can definitely support being used in DDD I think rather well because of how effectively it can put multiple monsters on the board to be used for said link summons, but that's an entirely different video. But yeah, basically, as of right now, this card, I don't see very much potential use for it, other than just being a big finisher that you might run one of, but you might almost never summon it. So, I'm really actually just let down by this card, unfortunately. Um, but like I said, I think I was setting myself up to get like let down by it, because I mean, Genghis was a V-Jump promo, this was in a core set, and usually the cards that are in the V-Jump promos are usually the more broken ones anyway. So, I mean, like, that's just, like, something that's happened over the course, like, of Yu-Gi-Oh! in the past couple of years. And also, like, regular Fusion Genghis is better than regular Alexander, because Fusion Genghis is easier to summon, it's a more workable level, being level 6, and then it also summons DD monsters of no level restriction, whereas regular Alexander can only summon level 4 or lower DDs. So, like, Genghis is better than Alexander in both cases in this scenario, and I was kind of really just expecting this to be the case moving on to high executive Alexander. Uh, but basically I want to know what you guys thoughts are on this card because I think that it's worth running is maybe a one of because like I said 6,000 is definitely not small and if Link Summoning changes the way Yu-Gi-Oh is played to where it's more focused on being able to punch with these huge monsters because you can't populate your board with as many extra deck monsters then that would definitely be a good reason why this card would be pretty decent but other than that like i said let me know what you guys thoughts are in the comments down below but other than that 
Thanks for watching. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Check out the links in the description of my Facebook page as well as my Patreon page. If you want to support me directly, you can definitely go there and maybe consider donating and basically just getting access to all the reward tiers. There's a monthly giveaway I'm doing at the end of this month where I'm giving away a box of Raging Tempest. And if everything goes well and things go good on the Patreon front, I will also be giving away a box of Fusion Enforcers because that is the two sets that Konami is releasing in this month. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway every month. So you can definitely go and look at how you get into entries into the raffle giveaway for that on my Patreon page and help support the channel if you want to. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, and take care. I will see you in the next video where I'll be talking about some more of these buster-ass cards.